Hello, Jefferson and Evelyn. How are you guys doing today? Can you listen? Hi. Good evening. So let's see, today is our last session. I'm so glad we made it till the end. And I'm very positive that you guys are going to, um, let's see, finish everything as of today. Because today is the last day for you to complete every exercise on the platform. Tell me, how are you doing with that um, process? Are you already with the, I don't know, 100% or above 80%? What's your situation, Evelyn? Everybody finished. Ready. <laughs> you did? And it's Jeff, like okay, it's really good. And Jeffrey, what about you? I do the one hundred percent in the platform. You have done the one hundred percent. Wow, that's really good. Yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad because today is the last day, right, for us to finish this. Uh, let's see, module three, and that is so essential for us to do it. And today we're going to have a new topic. This is about past models. In case you haven't complete that part, we can work on that and I can explain the topic and then we can go to the platform and make sure we all have you know, cleared this part. Melissa, how are you doing? Are you already uh, completed? Are you finished with the activities on the platform or what's your case? Did any help on the exercises? So there's no questions I can see. That's really good. So that tells me that you guys already finished the platform. If you haven't, it's not a problem, okay? So we're gonna start with today's session, guys. Just a second, please. Will I start sharing? Okay, so as you can see, guys, here we have, um, this is session number 16. So this is the final session. And uh, we are going to practice some uh, constructions based on this uh, topic, which is past models, okay? So welcome everyone to the, your final session. Today for us is the last day and it's Friday <laughs> as well. So let's see, welcome Angie, welcome Giovanni. Thanks so much for joining. And um, Thank you. If, in case you guys have any question about any part of any exercise, we can discuss this before we start talking on this topic, which is past models. Do you have any questions? Peter. Yes. Uh, if not a uh, question, uh, by the way, it's a request. Mm -hmm. um, Jenny Campo say me if you um, she is going to be late in in class and she say me if you can do the favor share the, the presentation okay yeah I can Thank share you. I can share the presentation also the videos are uploaded have you guys seen 
or visited our channel on YouTube because these videos are always uploaded on YouTube. And okay. so I can do that. I can share the presentation with her or I can share the link in case she doesn't know we have a YouTube channel where all these videos we have had are already uploaded, okay? But anyways, thank you so much for telling me. I know sometimes we cannot make thank it you. due to other responsibilities. So that's totally understandable. All right, so let's start talking about this, guys. We have this new topic, past models. If you already finished the exercises on the platform, that means that you can explain to me what this is. Am I right? So I want to hear you. So what is past model and models and how do we use them and when do we use them? Anybody? Yes, let's see. What can you recall based on your own learning you had on the platform about past model? What is it? Jeffer, what is it? Explain to us, come on. <laughs> Yeah, I don't remember because I do this topic the last week. Oh, you did it last Yes. <laughs> last week. Wow. So you finished like woo, some time ago. It's okay. Anybody remembers what past models are and how can we use it? And why do we need to know about this? To begin with, what are model verbs? Give me some examples, some, some ideas. It is when we use will have, may have, could have. That's correct. So model verbs are could, would, may, and then when we wanna talk about past, we need to add exactly what I just heard somebody said. Was that, who said that? Was that Evelyn or who said it? Or Reina or Melissa? Yes, Reina. 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 Yes, exactly, Reina. Thank you so much. You are totally correct. When we use past model is because we want to use any model verse that we already know, could, might, may, would, and we add have. That's basically it. Now, how can we make sentences? How can we make uh, questions? And when do we use them? That's today's topic. And we're gonna get started discussing on this because we only have uh, 60 minutes for this topic. And it's a really like interesting and an important topic to discuss. So uh, let's get started with the grammar focus. With this, I know you will have a clearer idea as to what I'm talking about. Pass Mora. Jeffer, please help us read the light blue letters. Uh, use, will, have, or should have, plus past participles to give opinions or suggestions about action in the past. Thank you so much. So when we want to give opinions or suggestions about actions in the past, now we use have or should, have and then our verb that goes this time is going to be in past participle which means if we have a list verb it's going to be our third category our third column uh, verb let's say now let's think about um, any opinion that you want to give but that's in the past or any suggestion that takes uh, you know place in the past not in the present tense so what can you tell me Let's think about, um, imagine I, I bought a computer, right? I have my computer. Imagine this is the computer, this is my cell phone. So, but this cell phone, it's really expensive. And then, and I bought it at Radio Shack. And then you went to the mall, Metro Centro, Metro, and then you saw the same phone at a different store at a lower price. So what is an opinion you can give me using this structure? You should have brought mm -hmm. 
old mm -hmm. at that store. Okay, yes, yeah, good one. Anybody else? So the phone is with me already. I have it here. And I paid a lot of money, more than I should have paid. And so yes. what? Uh -huh. Do you surely have expected from the Black Friday? Oh, you should have waited, I think, right? Waited, because it's like, uh, exactly, to apply for promotions, okay? You see, you're just giving an, an opinion, right, about what you're seeing based on this scenario. Okay, and what about maybe suggestions? Oh, I think when you say to me, wait for Black Friday, it sounds like a suggestion too, right? But then what about if you think about one um, opinion that you can give, but the action itself takes place in the past because this is the focus, this, this is the grammar focus, past model. Let's take a look at the examples we have. Number one, what should I, what should I have done? What should I have done? And thus, uh, possible answers are, you should have told them about it. Okay, you should, shouldn't have hidden it. Okay, next one, what would you have done? You would have called him or I wouldn't have sent him an email. So these are possible opinions and suggestions about the past. And then uh, let's think about possible scenarios, guys, where we can give opinions. What comes to your mind? Uh, if you remember the example I just provided you, what is a possible scenario that you can think about and you can give me some opinions or maybe your suggestions in the past? Maybe you should have done a uh, research about <clears throat> to compare the, the prices between the stores. Okay, I should have research before going to the store and purchase the device. Okay, yes, that's another opinion about the scenario I just gave you. Okay, Any, anything else that you can tell me? Sometimes, let me give you another scenario. Sometimes we, and when we are really angry, we tend to say stuff we don't want to say, right? And maybe because you were angry, you were irritated, you, you or me can say maybe something offensive to someone, right? And then after, you know, a couple of minutes, you regret about that. So what can you tell me in this scenario? Imagine he's my best friend and I told him really offensive things. I don't want to say what I said. And then what can you tell me about it? You know, it's my best friend. And now he or she is mad at me because of this. What can you tell me about it? You shouldn't have said shouldn't that have word. You shouldn't have said that. Very good. Okay. What else can you tell me about it? I, I know you did the homework. I know you have completed the platform. That's really good. That's what you're answering. Maybe you already know about this, or maybe you uh, investigated while, while you were working on the platform, which is really cool. What else can you tell me? You should have proceed like uh, in. Uh impulsive person. Okay, I see, right. Short fuse, <laughs> mecha corta, okay. All right, so this is the grammar <laughs> form. Guys, let's take a look at this. We have, then we have said, we have, we have uh, should, and then we have have, and then we have past participle. This is the structure, right? Shouldn't have hidden, would have called wouldn't have sent. So this is the structure. If we stick to it, we won't have any problem. When we want to give an opinion or a suggestions, 
you know, in the past. Now, uh, let's take a look at some other ideas here. See? Mm -hmm. Smaller. To give an opinion, when an opinion is late, okay? So this is the structure. Let's see, Angie, can you help me to read the, uh, the formula we have here? We use will have plus past participle. And our opinion is too late. Like the example I gave you, I already have the phone. Imagine um, one of your best friends uh, comes around and he or she starts telling you, um, maybe, hey, you know what, my wife or my husband is really, really like um, angry with me. I didn't know her. I didn't even think this was going to happen. And, and this person is recently married, like they got married a couple of weeks ago. So what can you what can you say to this person, or or what is an expression or a sentence you can say using these uh, models in the past? Because at the end they are already married, you know they, you can't do much about the, this case. So what can you you say to him or to her? Any anything that comes to your mind? Would you say debiste haberlo pensado o uh, no, I don't know, maybe no te, no te hubieses casado? How would you say that in English? Like, to give an opinion, try to use, uh, well, we have good here, but then uh, the point is to use moral in the past. Opinions in the past. See, we are 10 connected. So I want, I want you to uh, create at least one example and then uh, you can share it with me. Uh, mm -hmm. Teacher, maybe you should say, would you, would you have taken more time? You would, would have, to, uh -huh. you would have taken like more time to think about it before uh-huh, getting married, right? Okay, yes, makes sense. What else? There, there might be many, you know, um, opinions you can give, but at the end, it's too late. You should have thought about the get married. Exactly. I wanted to hear that. I wanted to hear that. Yes, you, you should have, this is the next one, and I want to go to the next one. So, should have thought. thought. You should have thought, right? You should have thought um, maybe twice, <laughs> right? Before getting married, right? Now you're there. No options for you, my dear friend. Okay, good. So give me more. Uh, give me more examples to op about opinions in the past or suggestions. This is a suggestion. When we use should, it's more like a suggestion, right? If we if we use would, it's more like an opinion. So try to think about one possible opinion or suggestion in the past, and um, maybe this can be given to a friend, to your uh, colleagues, and to your I don't know family members daughter, son, brothers. So think about one suggestion or one opinion in the past and I want you to share it with me. I'm looking for the word you want to know, Emma. I want to, I want you to explain a little bit more that word to me because I think uh, Not that. Let me look for it. Maybe I have heard it. Let's see. I'm trying to. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, think about, okay, we have Jose. Okay, Jose's one. He says you should have met her parents first. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's maybe being said to, I don't know, to your daughter <laughs> or to your son, right? Uh -huh. Okay, what else? What else? Can you tell me about it? I sent you one word, Emma. I just found it being honest with you. I think I have heard this word before, okay? The range, I heard it and it makes sense to me. So the range, not that common, but you can use that one. What do you want to say, Emma? And I'm sorry for the capital letters, you know, I didn't notice. <laughs> okay, so what other opinions do you guys have? Any other? Suggestions and, and opinions in the past. What can you tell, I don't know, maybe if you were, let's see, uh, let's think about in our family. Have you ever uh, maybe disagreed on any action taken by your loved ones? And then you start maybe saying or expressing how you feel. And then maybe you disagree because you didn't want, you know, them to do such thing. Like in general, think about these scenarios in which you wanted to give suggestion or you gave suggestion, but they were too late. In your family, maybe at work, maybe you suggested something to your boss, but when you gave this suggestion, it was already late. Uh, I think like me as a teacher, I think when I see one of my students getting low grades or bad grades, and if I say, oh, you should have studied harder, but it's my opinion or my suggestion is too late because you already got your low grade. You failed the test. Uh, imagine you're driving on, on a car and then, cause you are in a, in a hurry, and then you boom, you crashed because you were in a hurry. You were like so desperate. And then I say, man, come on, you should have relaxed a little bit. Now you should, you should have taken it easy, right? So I'm just trying to give you some ideas because I want you to think of these scenarios in which you might give these opinions or you might give these suggestions, but they're too late, you know. Let's see Giovanni. You could be with us at the party if you weren't married. You should have thought about it a little more. Ooh, yes, <laughs> to make that decision. Yeah, that's a really good one. Especially if she or he is toxic. <laughs> no, no, has a little punto, te quedas. Then you're like, wow. <laughs> okay, opinions and suggestions too late, okay? Jeffer, go ahead. Compartame sus ejemplos, guys. No tenemos mucho tiempo y quiero escucharle porque uno creo que sí están claros de que estamos hablando los que no han participado. No sé si porque I don't know if you have gotten the idea or it's it's too easy, but I want to hear your ideas. Jeffer, tell me. Uh, teacher, how do you say pareja? But in general, when you don't know if it's a girl or a boy. How do you say is partner? Partner, yeah, partner. Yeah, partner. For example, if I want to say conocer mejor de pareja. Uh, you want to get to know your partner better. Oh, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because don't say couple, because couple is more for, if you wanna talk about maybe like a relationship for, for a husband and wife, then we can say couple couple that's that's a couple it means like 
a pareja, but in that scenario. Even I think couple can be used for parejas, but uh, I heard someone using this word, but I don't agree that this can be used like in, like in class, couples. I don't think it's, it's appropriate. But couples is more like a relationship. I think this scenario, um, Jeffer, in this one, we're talking about you can use couples because it's about relationship. So what else can you tell me? Uh -huh. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Uh, I want to stop sharing. I want to know, let's see, how are you feeling with this topic? Let's see, uh, send me on the chat. If you get the hint, get the idea of these past models. And if it is easy to understand or to think about other scenarios as the one I just uh, talked to you about, as the one I just provided. Send me on the chat if you have understood this topic because I want to, I want to do another exercise, but this one you need to talk more. Uh, so tell me, have you understood this topic guys? We are connected like 12 plus me. I want to see on the chat or maybe open your mic, um, your opinions. For me, this topic is a little difficult. Possesses is a little difficult, okay. Oh, okay. Angie, what do you say about this topic? It's just past ideas. Uh, Uh, sometimes, guys, this scenario is used. Gustavo, he gets it, okay? This scenario um, is also used with third conditional. It's also known as third conditional when we use the if clause. For example, if, let me give you an example. If, if I hadn't studied, I take a look at this example I'm about to send you. If I hadn't studied the harder, I would have okay, I just sent you one. You should have to do a right decision. Mm. After half, mention we don't use two. We only say, uh, remember the structure, we use one model verb, have, and then past participle. That's the way it is. Okay, that's the way it is. I just sent you one sentence, which is considered in English third conditional. The third conditional, guys, is um, when we use uh, if, plus past perfect and in, in the second clause, we use what we are talking about, which is any model verse in the past form. Like the one I sent you, si no, si no, uh, no hubiera estudiado bastante, uh, no habría pasado, uh, habría fallado el examen, for example, okay? So that's another condition that we also need to talk about. This is considered third conditional and it has to do with models in the past, okay? So um, can you now try to think about one scenario which follows the structure I just sent? In the if clause, we need to use past perfect. And in the second clause, which is the, the outcome or the result, we need to use past models, okay? 
So can you provide me with one example? Try to follow the rule, but try to follow the structure, please. How do you say, si me hubieras dicho, no lo habría hecho? Pero a este momento ya, ya lo hice. So, how do you say that? Si, si me hubiera dicho, no lo habría hecho. Thinking about this. I think that probably could be, if you told me, I shouldn't do it. Or I shouldn't did it. I don't, I'm not sure. <laughs> Uh-huh, very close right now, because uh, the, the, the sentence I just said, it applies for the structure I just sent you. If plus past perfect, plus past models. Exactly, exactamente, José, solo que me le puso have, y después del wouldn't es el have, have, es el presente. Porque el modal en pasado es have. Y todo está bien. If you had told me, I wouldn't have done it. Exactly. Lo que José acaba de mandar es, is the correct answer. Okay, for this. Can you see? So basically, this is models in the past. What we need to know, guys, is that we need to use one model verb plus have plus past participle. Okay. Postman, Daniel, Emma, please provide me with your examples. Evelyn, I want to hear you guys. Maybe this topic, it's, uh, I don't know, maybe not that exactly. Thank you so much. If I had a lot of money, I would have quit my job. Mm, that one, Jenny, eso es el segundo. Segundo condicional. El simple past and then will plus el verbo en, en su forma base. Lo que estamos viendo ahorita is the next one. It's the third condition, el tercero. The one you just sent me, el que se me acaba de mandar, is the second one. But then we, we don't want to talk about that this time. Want to talk about third condition, which is models in the past. The one you just sent me is like, um, si tuviera dinero, de, renunciaría a mi trabajo. Y sería como, if I had money, I would quit. But el, el have no va a ser necesario. Pero solo me uso had. Can you double check that one? Because what do you want to say? Me imagino que quiere decir si tuviera dinero, renunciaría a mi trabajo. And that is second condition. If I had money, I would quit. El have es innecesario en el escenario. Porque solo had. In the if clause, we need to use had plus um, the past participle of the verb. Llamo de Daniel. If you had given me copy, I would have passed the subject. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Daniel, good. Mm -hmm. More else in the past, and then we just... Hola. Uh -huh. hola, hola. Yes, Daniel. Si me hubiera dado copia, yo hubiera pasado a la materia que hice escribir. <laughs> Exactamente. Y tiene la razón. razón. Está correcto. <laughs> Si ah, okay. dieron, pero como no me dieron copia de qué me sirve ahorita la ya, Dejé ya, la materia. ya la dejamos exactamente ¿no? son, son, son esos son modales en el pasado ¿verdad? ya pues, bien no es too late ya es demasiado tarde if you have if you have sent me the message before I have gone ajá exactamente pero sería if you had Gustavo el, el, después del, el, el verbo, después del, del if, lo que sigue es el past perfect. If you had, if you had sent me, if you had, no have, and then everything is okay. Le voy a dar un minuto más para que piensen en un ejemplo y me lo compartan. Please. Please, go ahead. One minute or two minutes. I'm going to be here waiting. Porque solo algunos, so, just some of you are sending. The other ones, I don't know if they're not connected or... 
not getting that idea or something is wrong here. Something, I don't see the same participation. Okay, I see Emma. If my friend had not agreed to go out with that boy, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have scolded her. If my friend had not agreed, I think it's I would I would have. It's not I wouldn't, Emma. Can you take it? Because you want your 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 friend to go out with him. No. You don't want. He, it was I mean, I, it was a bad bad idea. That's why I think that. Oh, then it's like if my friend had agreed. It's not if my friend had not. I think the not after had is is not okay. Then, if you see, if my friend had agreed, no not. Because if the point is that you don't want her to go out with him, this case is if my friend had agreed, okay? Check it, check it again, and then you let me know if I'm if I'm if I'm uh, correct. Yes, yes, I got it. If, if my friend had agreed to go out with that boy, I couldn't have scolded her. Exactly. If I had knew what happened. If I had known, Angie, because it's the past participle, if I had known what happened, I wouldn't have helped you. Exactly. Only that, that's correct. Just change the verb in the set of new, you want to say none. Mm -hmm. Check it again, please. Okay. Chicos, los que no me han mandado ejemplo, ¿por qué es? Tengo varios. Um, ask, please. You can ask right now. If you had told me this before, I wouldn't have bought it in the... <laughs> I would have bought it in the, in the supermarket. That's correct. Exactly. Angie, aha, uh -huh, Angie. If I had known, Angie, known. Let me send you that verb. So the first one is no, present. The past is you. And our past participle is none. This one I just send it. Okay. So we want to say none. If I had known what happened, I wouldn't have helped you. But I did I know, so I helped you. Okay, uh, so I, I don't know. Do you have any other uh, example you want to share, guys? Is it understandable, confusing? Uh, please tell me, please tell me. Because this time is, because we want to think about scenarios in the past to express opinions and suggestions when it's too late. It's already, you know, an opinion given to express, uh, maybe sometimes we express regret. Like for example, imagine um, you want to express regret about something that happened in the past, but it's too, too late. I mean, you can't do much about it. And there are many scenarios in life, okay? For example, si hubiera pagado la factura a tiempo, no habría tenido que pagar cargos tardíos. How do you say that? If I had won the lottery, I would have traveled to many places. Exactly. That's correct. But mm -mm, you didn't 
you didn't uh, win the lottery. <laughs> so you couldn't you know, <laughs> go out. So that's the point. Very good. What other examples do you guys have? If you had told me that, if you had told me that was a secret, I wouldn't have told to anybody. Exactly. Exactly, Evelyn. If I had spoken with you, I would have passed the interview. Now we are talking. Great. Great to see it. Yeah, la mayoría, everybody, uh, you know, the majority has sent me, you know, some uh, messages that tells me that you are like getting the, you have gotten the idea. Maybe there are some of you uh, who still need to um, share some examples. Let me share the screen right now. Let's see. Okay, let's continue. This is something that is on the platform, but I want to share it. Take a look at this for statements. It's really crucial that we use subject. It doesn't matter what subject it is. I, you, he, she, it, we, they, Jefferson, so Emma, Jose, Armando, mi tía, mi abuelo, mi abuelita, it doesn't matter, okay? It's just a subject, okay? Would, must be there. Would have or should have, because it's the past. And then we have the past participle. Remember, we are not talking about uh, verse in present. We are not talking about verse in past. We are talking about past participle and then the complement. So without you giving me any condition, can you provide me with one more example? And then we finish this because I want to make sure we are on the same page. Follow the formula and give me one more example and provide me with any other subject. Nah, not I, not you. Think about other subjects. If uh, you had paid the rent, you wouldn't have moved with your mother. Okay, yes, but you didn't pay. Get out of here. Okay, good, exactly. Follow this formula and create one more example, please. I think we have little time, guys. Please uh, do this. I, there's one more thing that I want to do. Okay, we have one example here. If I had checked my brakes, I wouldn't have crashed my car. Yes. So you say if I hadn't, if I had checked the brakes or my brakes or my car's brakes, I wouldn't have crashed it. Exactly. Thank you so much, Angie. One more example, guys, please, come on, send it to me, send it to me. We, we, we don't have much time. We just have a couple of minutes more. One more. One more. Okay, so uh, I haven't received any other example. I think um, I'm, it's time for me to share the next idea. Maybe this time you will participate. Here we go. Oh, we have the questions still. And please do me a favor, create one question. 
Juan should have studied another career. Okay, Juan is not doing a good job at, in this career. Uh, one question, come on, help me to create one question. Follow the formula. Question word, and then would, should, subject, and then the have, and then past participle, you see? If I hadn't killed the dog, I wouldn't have prepared my car. Yeah, I can see your point. Sometimes it happens. Okay, now help me to create one question, please. We have this structure and think about one question and, and go ahead and share it with me. You can open your mic and, and, and share it with me. And if you can, you give me your answer too. That'll be great. If she had listened, the advice she wouldn't have made that mistake right but she didn't listen now she's all you know in trouble what should one have studied at the university exactly this for one right if she studied every day it, mm, something is missing here jenny if she had studied you're missing the 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 past participle i mean you're missing the had here before the past participle Double check that one, Jenny, please. Um, and what about questions, please? Send me one question about the structure. One question. Ya recibí una. I received one already, but send me your your ones. Everyone should send me, you know, one question. I have another one. Really good. What? Hmm, Reina, that needs to be double check. Take a look at the formula. After what? What do we have? What? What? And then we need to have would or should. Take a look at the one you sent me. It's a question. What and then why would you have done that exactly? Angie, correct. That one is correct. Mm -hmm. All right, send me your examples, send me your sentences, your questions. Jeffrey, what's your example? I have read only one from Angie and one from Reina. Questions. And then Gustavo, that already sent one. Why would you have done that? Mm -hmm. Give you one more minute. Guys, and about the test, do you have any questions? Because we only have like 10 more minutes. And at the beginning, nobody asked anything. What should I have taken to cure my illness? Uh-huh, that is a good one. What should I have taken to cure my illness? Exactly. What would you have done in that situation? Really good, you see, that's what I'm talking about. And our last activity is this. I want you to read the situations and type one suggestion, okay? for each one. Maybe uh, we can discuss this in like in, in, our, in our next five minutes. Suggestion number one, let's see, Daniel, can you please read suggestion, num I mean, situation number one? Your teacher, go ahead, please. 
Leer, teacher. Uh, yeah, go ahead and read first situation. Okay. Your teacher borrowed your favorite book and spilled coffee and over it. Okay, you see your teacher borrowed your favorite book and spilled coffee. Mm -hmm. this is all over it. So any suggestion that you can give, think about it and give me your suggestion. Our oh, Jose already sent his. The teacher should have, should, shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, I like it, but then try to think one, Jose, using the structure, I like it. And then uh, the suggestion is maybe not for the teacher, it's more like for uh, the person who lends the book, uh -huh. I think. Can you tell me? Imagine Jeffrey, uh, I don't know, lends his paper book and, to me and then I, and I spill coffee on his book. What would you tell Jeffrey? Or what would you tell me? Uh, if I am saying to you, uh, you should have Ask you the good grade in compensation. <laughs> okay, that's okay. You should you should have asked a, a good grade as a compensation. Okay. Hmm, interesting, maybe. Where would you live if you had won the lottery? That's a, where where would you uh, hmm if you had won? Something, I think something is um, missing here. Where would you have lived? Remember that you should have, you should have bought other book, okay? Like you should have asked a good grade as a compensation, okay? Right, very good. And then let's finish this with the last, with the last situation. Imagine you saw a classmate cheating on exam. What suggestion can you give to him, you know? Or what can you tell me about it? Any suggestion for this one? Why should you exercise and it help? Why should you exercise and it That one, Daniel, it's okay. But then the point is more like to talk about past situations, past. Like we wanna use a past participle of the verb, we wanna use models plus have. That will be, you know, the main idea of these scenarios, okay? That one is okay, of course, but then um, maybe you wanna talk about the past. All right, so anybody about, about the test? About the test, what do you say about the test? Teacher, teacher. Yes. Can you share the, the presentation? Yeah, I can do it. Yeah, I can do it. I can share the presentation. Actually, I can send the whole presentation about every, all the whole class. I got it since the beginning until today. I can send it to you if you would like to. I can send it. Just remind, remind me on WhatsApp. I can send it to you, okay? <laughs> Oh, right, guys, nobody sent anything about the last situation. Come on, we only have four minutes.
Well, uh, I think we're gonna leave it like that. It's okay, no worries. Just uh, remember that we need to create um, suggestions and opinions in the password. I do ask you to please keep studying about this topic. There might be many scenarios where you can practice more because I know just 60 minutes is too little for this topic, which uh, might require more than just this time, okay? Guys, well, I do thank you so much for being such great class. Keep learning, keep studying English, okay? And do your best. Don't forget to complete all the exercises on the platform today, the latest at midnight, okay? So if you haven't finished, make sure you do it, okay? So we have until tonight. Do you have any questions before we finish this uh, course, this module? Any question? Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Do we receive only uh, electronic certificate or in physical? I think they sent you the, exactly. I think it's just a PDF, electronic, as you said it. They send it to your email so you can print it. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Nobody should should make cheating on class. Should make cheating on the class. Okay, Jose. Yeah, he has the idea. Well, guys, for me, it's been a nice experience. I have learned a lot from you guys. And if you don't mind sending me one uh, simple sentence on that message, telling me any suggestion for me, like as a teacher. I don't feel bad if you want to say whatever you want to say, fine. At the end, it's for my own good. And I won't feel like bad if you say bad stuff. Actually, they help. Any suggestion or any recommendation, I will appreciate it. You can do it. I give you one minute for that, OK? Be honest. I appreciate that, believe me. So send on me one. On the chat, or you can open your mic as you as you prefer. You're a great teacher. You keep in keep in <laughs> work like that. I'm a cry. Don't say that. Yeah. Be, be sincere. Give a lot of patience. <laughs> I maybe I can't do that work because I am not. I am impatient. Uh, you're impatient. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Everybody has, you know, this patient. We can do but, it. You're great. Thank you for all. Uh, this is my, the last class, I think. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Last one. No, you, well, you're doing a really good job, Gustavo. Oh, well, thank you. I yeah. can tell. Try. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, guys, then uh, thank you so much. I appreciate your comments and uh, I always take pictures at the very last class, but I see many of you with the cameras off, and there there must be a there might there might be a reason, you know, behind this. Maybe you are I don't know already relaxed, and then you don't want to turn your oh Angie's there, so I'm gonna take a picture with with the ones who want to be on, on the photo. I was telling you to get hands on, you know, the hands. Ah, uh, so you know. All right, so picture time. Those who wanna be on the picture. For memories, get ready. Get ready for the picture. Thank you so much. I see. Wow, I love this. Nice. This is just great. All right, let's do it. And Reina, Jose, Emma, you don't want to turn the cameras on. Emma is there. Maybe Jose, Jose, hold on. Jose, Jose, Reina. Three, two, three, two, three, two. Ready? <laughs> three, two, one. Once again, let me. I think, hold on, hold on. The chat is there. The chat should not be there. Oh, see, let's see. Three, two, one. Awesome. Thank you so much. I'll be sharing this picture with you guys. Have a wonderful night and see you later. I don't know when, but see you around. Take care, please. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you for uh, everything. God right. bless you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, everybody.